And welcome back to Gaming with God. I'm your host, Grumpy Old Dude. This is episode three of our playthrough. It's the last of Crown of the Magister, full release today, May 27th. Release came out of early access this morning. And now we are going to see what we get <coughs> as we play through this. Okay, let's go through here. Looks like you did that all your life. These are the tunnels in Care Lab. We're After all we gonna have... die. This one didn't die yesterday. What's this outfit? Timarian. Who wants to open this? You never know. There might be a fortune in there. Said the paladin. Excuse me. Now he comes back. Now we go to the wizard. Do a ritual to detect magic. And uh, identify. This armor. Magic leather armor plus one. Potion, Hill Giant Strength. They will swap. Number class is 16. Now it's a 17. She's actually better armored in the plus one leather than she was in the scale. Okay. That's interesting. Play on hands. Let's do this instead. Seems odd. We bring light in darkness. I'm sure that's supposed to be interactive. Yeah. Wait, think they're Sorax? Who else? Right out of a fairy tale as ugly as life. And certainly not <laughs> lizard folk. We can surprise them. Can't we sneak around? From what I see, not a chance. All right. Tread lightly, and we all attack at once. This is supposed to be interactive right here. There is a room here. Huh. 
That's odd. I'm going to do something. Let's see. We'll release episode two. Yeah, no, this is episode three. Okay. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to exit the game and reload. Uh, I will pause the recording while I do that. There's no point for you folks to sit there and wait for me to do it. Be right back. Okay, it is loading. We'll be back momentarily. Tip says most characters can jump two cells without a problem. Longer jumps require strength and proficiency with an athletic self a lot. You always have a chance to fall prone when landing if you jump far. So, I don't know if this is going to work or not. I exited the game completely. Uh, totally shut down. I had to go back to the Steam library page, click play, and reopen the game from scratch. So we'll see. Hopefully this will remedy it and give me access to that door, to that room. And it did not. This is supposed to, to be interactable. Okay. But it's not. All right, now, since we are going to sneak up, you're going to put the torches away. Here we go. We're going to go into cautious mode. Okay, now everybody's in position.
Ooh. Missed. Ah! Rubar. Attempts. Not real impressive. What the hell was that? Oh, she's not a ranger. She's not a thief, she's a ranger. Doesn't get the cunning action. Another miss. This is not going well. Says. You are so she's seriously hurt. Drops, Peter. 
have secure wounds on Peter again because he's seriously hurt. if he'd hit. light torches so I can see what's going on here. Fix that. And you can push that down to here, but it doesn't do any good. There is nothing up here to interact with. I don't believe there's anything over here to interact with either. No, there isn't. However, there is. Something right over here to interact. Take a look at our weight and everything else. What do we have? Scroll of Identify goes to the wizard. Scroll of Fear goes to the wizard. Crossbow bolt goes to the cleric. More crossbow bolts go to the cleric. There go there. That'll go there. Arrows. Darts. Those are new. I don't remember encountering darts before. Oh, since we have something new here. Let's do a detect magic. Nothing there that I didn't already know about. And nothing there I didn't know about. You know, those are just standard crossbow bolts. Yep. Oh, acid damage, that's why. They're not uh, magic, they're acid bolts, okay. And those are just regular darts, okay. Alrighty. Cast spell. Your wounds on Peter. Cast spell. Oh, I'm all done. Peter, all done. Cast. Your wounds 
yourself. All done. So now we long rest. Okay. Peter finished his potion of healing. There we are. Peter says four spells, cure wounds, bless, heroism, and shield. Yep. Cleric. Yep. And magic user. Yep. There we go. So we're all in good shape there. Everybody's all healed up. anyone read that? It's all Timarian. It looks like a part of an Inquisitor's outfit. Excuse so me. that's from the tower Excuse up me again. there. Maybe we're inside the tower. Is that gold? This is history. History all around us. Take it and let's move. The Soraks don't care about history, I'm sure. Alrighty. Shit food, shit shoes, business I'll have to tell usual. the captain's wife. <laughs> yep, Rovar sounds like a soldier. Okay, I am going to take a brief break here. Check my uploads and compiling videos because I heard my uh, video editing software ding at me. I will pause the recording and be right back. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, we are back. And we are about to proceed here <coughs> around the rotating bridge. Okay. The Sorax can't be far away. We should be cautious from now on. Yep, we should. And there's footprints. She's not. Get up there. Ah, 
trash can, okay. There used to be two. Well, they, there it is, the other one right there. <coughs> Stand ready with a melee attack. He hides. Stand ready with a ranged attack. Stand ready with a ranged attack. That was a miss. That was a hit. Another hit almost, but not quite dead. Oh, 
five of them coming in. That's not good. and Paladin fighting one guy. Instead of going this way. still over here.
Climb down and pilfer these piles. And she will climb over and pilfer this one. climb up and pill for this one. And over huh. there and pill for that one. Huh. And I'm kind of thinking that might be it. Oh. I don't see any more huh. goody 
piles there. Uh. Come up here. Uh. survive this, I might just drink myself to death. Okay, let's see here. Can't jump that far. No free spell slots. Okay, so we're going to have to do something here. Uh, short rest, actually. i try. See if that will facilitate what we need. Gets back one spell slot. Short rest was a one hour rest period. It lets you restore one spell slot for your age. Ah! Actually, I think it's one half your mage's level is what you get. And detect magic ritual. Scroll of Bless. And we have an unidentified healing potion here. And another set of leather plus one. Greater healing. And everybody goes now to level three. We're safe. We still have to go back to Care Kiflin. The road isn't far. I suppose we'll meet again in Care Kiflin. Are you good to return by yourselves? Aye. Of course. Why wouldn't they travel together? They're together now, they're going to the same place. Some weapons maintenance. Level up. Okay, now. Oath of Devotion. Channel Divinity to bless one weapon for one minute. Add your charisma modifier to hit with that weapon. Turn the unholy channel divinity to force fields, force fiends and undead within six cells to flee. Both of the motherland. Burning hands, burning smite, fireball at level nine. Channel the divinity to target one creature within 12 cells, cells dealing two die six plus level fire damage and setting the target on fire. 
fiery presence to blind opponents within 12 cells. Oath of Tiramar Sleep, which is absolutely irrelevant in this game. Channel to gain keen advantage, persuasion, and intimidation to deal dice 6 radiant damage on the attacks which hit opponents. Natural, natural. Okay, Oath of Motherland or Oath of Devotion. Hmm. As we start a pre cataclysm, yeah, we're gonna do both of the motherland. And now uh, my ranger. Hunter, choose one of the following hunting specialties. Hardbreaker or in a horde breaker. And cure wounds. Level up the cleric. And level up the wizard. Okay. Second level spells will be Flaming Sphere, Misty Step, Prepare Spells for the Paladin gets four. Last Cure Wounds, Heroism, and Shield of Faith. Okay, those are good. Now for the cleric, he gets six. Uh, I don't want to inflict wounds. I do want spiritual weapon. I don't care about bane. I do want prayer of healing. He has flaming sphere. Here we go. Now the wizard. Says. No to burning hands, yes to flaming sphere. Okay. crafting supplies, aren't I? Resume. <laughs> no, no, the supplies, I'm out of uh, the one. Hammer, whatever the hell it was. Gain six food and he casts good berry, so you don't use any of it. Most characters can climb two cells without a problem. Climbing higher requires strength and proficiency with athletics helps a lot. Some characters, like thieves or dark weavers, have superior climbing abilities. on getting back into town here. Just waiting. <laughs> Load screens. The bane of modern day gaming. Let me 
see what my game time should be pretty close to the hour, hour and quarter mark. I think we're a little over an hour. One moment, I'll check that. Oh, 52 minutes, not 62, so. i do this just a wee little bit out of sequence here. Come down here and sell some things I don't particularly need to have. Welcome to Gorim's Emporium. Need that scale, don't need that commoner's clothing. And he's good on arrows, so that's good. Down right here. Don't need the club. Don't need the war hammer. Don't need the darts, don't need that short bow. I don't believe I need another set of plus one leather either. things so I got 335 coins okay there's that and there is that now come over here flaming bolts crossbow bolt poison bolt Heroes. Another poison recipe. Revivify. There's that. Okay. Now we come over here. Come talk to the magic and curiosities. Curios guy. Hello. How may I help you? You go. Go to here. Calvin Amaranth. That's what I'm out of. Annie? You're back. How did it go? Well, Captain Henrik is dead. I'm sorry. Oh. Well, who's in charge then? 
You might have to wait before going to KLM, I'm afraid. I see. Well, not your fault. Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. There's that. Let's come over here and put some more excess grub in there. God, what a waste. See, that's two, four, five, ten. Let's see if it'll let me leave town with ten. It'll be a little while before we leave town, but let's see here. Oh, here you are. How was the mission? We must report to the Council immediately. Of course. I'll inform the Council that you've returned. When can we hope for an audience? It depends. Tomorrow, if you're lucky. Another party came back yesterday, and they still have to make their report, so maybe they'll see you both at once. We have urgent news. The outpost at Kaalem has been attacked. Almost all of the garrison was killed. By all the gods! Meet me in the Council Chamber. I'll inform my superiors. Yeah, here we go. The Legacy Council is now in session. Captain Merrin has the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Royal Highness, my party and I have made a very worrying discovery in the Badlands, near the place we call Black Hill. We saw a group that we took to be scavengers. They attacked us right away, but we were able to fight them off. They were trying to get away with this. What is it? This box contains a gem. A ruby, it appears. We have determined that it has magical properties, and we believe the Council should examine it. So we will, Captain. But really, is that all? You called an emergency meeting of the Council for a simple magical gem? Her Royal Highness has a busy schedule. Please, Lord Denantar. In this chamber, I'm asked. just a student of magic. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Anyway, Captain, yeah, yeah. the Council has a great deal of business. They were Sorax, our attackers. Not scavengers, not bandits. Sorax. Hmm. Sorax? Is this a joke? The Sorakath are no laughing matter, Lord Fasek. Oh, you know what I mean. What do you mean, my lord? How many times has the council heard tales of these so-called Sorax? At least 20, I'd say. More. 23. Yes, more each year. It's becoming a fad. Our church has been warning of the Sor Akath since humans first came to Celasta, in the wake of their foul god, Sortar. I'm sorry, Captain, but you are certain that you encountered Sorax? It's true! They're real! What? And who might you be? Some new recruits, my lord. They were sworn in quite recently. New recruits, eh? They place too much stock in rumor, it seems. They assure me that they saw Sorax as well. Wait, do you realize how serious this is? They attacked the Kerlem outpost. The garrison suffered severe losses. Kerlem? The outpost in the marches? What do you mean by heavy losses? The Sorax took over Captain Henrik, and only two of them are still alive. They can testify, too. Do you have any material proof of their existence? I beg your pardon? Like what? Well, a dead body, for example? Or even just a head? If we go to Care Lem, will we find the bodies of these Sorax? Probably not. They took their dead with them when they retreated. The bodies of their victims, too. Hmm, how very convenient. So you can offer us no proof of this adventurer's fable. And what if proof were to be brought before the council? What proof? How? If the Sorax take away their fallen, <laughs> as they say, that's not our problem. Let them find a way. These are new recruits, correct? Then let this be their new mission. Bring us the head of a Sorak for the whole council to see. That would certainly be proof, Lord Fasek, would it not? Oh, very well. Meanwhile, the council will examine the gem. Uh, if there is nothing else... Dean Ayala Fasek of the Tower of Knowledge calls for a recess. Does any member object? <laughs> no? 
It is resolved then. The Legacy Council is now in recess. That actually went better than I expected. A shower of weevils. Rich, clean weevils. And your employers, let's not forget. I must admit, the Legacy Council is a complex body. Anyway, some people might want to talk to you after this. Working for the Council, you are expected to be neutral. But? But you have the right to have friends. So, feel free to talk to whoever you like, as long as your allegiance remains to the Council as a whole. You may rely on our honor. Hey, deputies, thanks for the support in there. You're welcome, Captain. So those bastards got Henrik. Shame. You knew him? Yes, indeed. I wonder who'll volunteer to retake KLM now. And the scavengers could lead the way? Yes, they'll find a bunch of hotheads to retake the fort, I'm sure. Stay in the light, friends. You too. Yeah, and here we go. That is going to be session three. We will come over here, go for a little bit of uh, free crafting material. And we will come over here, get our map updated. Well, if it isn't our brave saviors. Good day, Lieutenant. I'm no longer a Lieutenant. I resigned my commission. I work for my people now. I will never step foot in the Badlands again. Yes. Well, you clearly weren't cut out for that posting. I've made my peace. But you aren't here to check on my welfare, are you? No, we seek information. Before the attack, where exactly did your scout venture? You mean, Dalliot? Yes. We'd like to know where he went before the Sorax attacked. As far as I know, there's not a name for this place or road that leads there. But I can show you on a map. It's near the ruins of an ancient tower. Thank you, Beryl. We appreciate the help. What are you thanking me for? Sending you to your death? <laughs> there we go. And with that, we will wrap session three. Pause that. And as always, folks, if you would comment down below, tell me what you do and don't like about what I'm doing so I can adjust to make this more enjoyable for you. Uh, click the like button. That way YouTube will know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And hit that subscribe button so when I add new content to the channel, you'll be notified of it. I uh, hope to see you again, whether it's uh, very soon or sometime in the distant future. Between now and then, take care of yourselves, be good, enjoy yourselves, and stay the hell off my lawn. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.